Hello ladies and gentlemen, uh, the cider drinker here and I'm gonna be honest, I didn't expect to be making this video right now. I've just recently received a package that I just wasn't expecting. Um, it was really weird because I received an email saying that a courier was dropping off um, a package to my, uh, well, to me, it didn't say the address. Um, turned out it was a completely different address, but um, I tracked it and I've received it and I'm a little bit blown away actually. Um, I did actually get in touch with, um, with these guys uh, just to see if it was legit and yes, it is totally 100% legit. I have got a package from Crafty Nectar. Uh, not just one, but two. Two boxes from Crafty Nectar. What the flip? <laughs> Already, I'm blown away. Uh, they, but they said um, we'd love, you know, we'd love it if um, J uh, James and Ed. They said we'd love it if you could do an unboxing and maybe do reviews of whatever you want um, from from the boxes. Uh, I believe these are the sizes that are on offer for everyone at this moment in time. So. I'm already blown away. Uh, as I said, I'm not expecting this at all. This is completely, well, all my reviews and stuff are unscripted anyway, but this is totally unscripted. Just wasn't expecting this. So I think the only other thing to do now is to just open these boxes and just see exactly what was, what's in them. Now, they are numbered. I don't know if that's gonna make any difference or not. So um, let's get, the first box open and just the first box. There's a pack. Well, it says there's six 500 ml bottles in each one of these. Oh my goodness! Oh yeah, here we go. There's a letter. Well, there's a big old letter. Oh, oh, tasting notes. Okay. Hello, cider drinker. First off, a massive thanks to all of you for subscribing to our service. We can't tell you how much it means to us here at Crafty Nectar HQ and to all of the small cider makers that we work with. Uh, with your support, we can continue to make noise about real cider from Somerset to Timbuktu. There are so many great ciders being produced out there and we are keen to make sure they get the spotlight they deserve. We hope you enjoy this box and remember that all of its contents are recyclable. You can even put the biodegradable chips on your compost heap. Viva la cider revolution, the Crafty Nectar team. Right, okay, there's tasting notes here. I'm not gonna read them because, well, I don't want to give the game away. So, oh, how funny. The first thing that we thought, oh, okay. First thing that we um, get from here is another couple of big nose and beardy coasters. Unbelievable. I've already got the uh, the boar's head one from them, personally, and now I've got two that I mentioned there, a bit of oomph. That's awesome. One of them is going on my drinks cabinet after this. Uh, right, what is the best way to do this? I'll tell you what, I'll pop them, pop them on the floor. Let's have a look. Right, looks like some very interesting ones in here. Let's start from here. Okay, so the first cider on offer, once I get the uh, the chips off, is one that I've never heard of before. Loxley. Loxley 2. There we go. Loxley 2. I have never heard of this company before. I don't know if they're new or not. Are they new? Doesn't say. It looks like they're London based. Um, ah, produced in Nottinghamshire, working alongside Blue Barrel Cider. I have, I've had the opportunity to have one Blue Barrel Cider in my time and it was amazing. So I've got Really high hopes for that one. It looks lovely. Awesome. Okay. Well, that's the first one. Let's, let's see what the second one is. Oh, you beauties. Oh, you beauties. Press head. Oh, I'll tell you what. I've, um, there's a bar in Chelmsford called the Ale House, and they had um, their idle... Oh, Eitel Drop, I think it was, and it was absolutely fantastic. It was on, um, it was in Bag of the Box, and it was fantastic. This one is their white label cider. Look at that label. I love that label. Proper like Illuminati and everything. That's awesome. Naturally medium British champion cider of 2015. Oh, we're off to a flyer already. My goodness me. Right. What's this next one? I think from the end it's going to be from Nightingale Cider. This would be awesome if it is. 
Oh, it is. It is. It's their Russet Cider Super Dry. Again, a nice, um, nice basic label there, but that's all you need, really. 8.1%. Woohoo! Wow. 2016 Single Vintage. That is, um, that's awesome. That is awesome. Right. Still got loads more to go here. I don't know how long this um, video is going to be. Okay. Right. Now, this is one that I've not heard of before either. Bulwark or Bullock. Bulwark. I never know how to uh, pronounce these. Bulwark, I think that is. Uh, oh, it's Canadian. Wow, that's awesome. There we go. Bulwark Cider. Cider Original Cedra. 5.8%. Nice, artisanal, fresh, authentic, pressed, but yeah, product of Canada. Uh, whereabouts? New Ross NS Canada, independently owned and operated, distributed by Brand Central. Nice, I'm all, well, I think that's gonna be my first Canadian cider on the channel, so that's gonna be awesome. Um, let's see, two more in this box. Two more in this box, I have no idea what the other box has got, but there we go. <laughs> Yay! Haha, <laughs> okay. Crafty Nectar. I've reviewed your number seven. And there you go. Crafty Nectar number eight. I've been wanting to try this one for ages. It's their vintage 2018 rhubarb cider. Ah, oh, now I've had a couple of really good rhubarb ciders and I've had a couple of not that great rhubarb ones. But if it's anything like the number seven, it's going to be fantastic. Sorry, let's get these in focus. Right. And the last one in this box is... Oh, well, there you go. Crafty Nectar number seven. Awesome. Um, but this is it. This is um, the bottle. The last time I reviewed it, I did the can. So, well, I probably won't do a review of this one, but um, if you follow me on Untapped, you will see if it... Well, it should taste the same, shouldn't it? So we shall see. So there we are. Well, that's the first box. Awesome. Let's move them out of the way. And just see, uh, see what the second box has got on offer. Oh my goodness me. Um, James and Ed, thank you so much already. This is incredible. I cannot wait to try these ciders. They are, oh my goodness me, there are some absolute corkers there. Nightingale, Blummin' Pressheads, you guys obviously. So let's see. Right. Okay, let's, let's go, well, let's dive in, shall we? Okay, once again, yet another um, company that I've never heard of before. Pulped Union, a bold side of a connoisseurs. Okay, where's this from then? Western Supermare. Well, oh, there we go. Here we are, Pulped Union. Nice, again, nice um, simple old label there. I like the, um, I do like it when... Uh, side companies do that whole graph thing on there. Looks really, really cool. Um, yeah, don't know anything about this company, but I can see sediment at the bottom of there, so that's going to be that's going to be a good one. All right. Oh my god. Twelve. Well, I think there's twelve ciders. I'm not sure. We shall see. Why? Right, what's this one? Oh man, all the chips are getting stuck to the bottom. That's the problem. Oh, I was hoping to keep some of these bottles, maybe. There we go. What's this one then? Oh, yes, okay. Nice. I've, um, I've had Gandley... Oh, I'm sorry, I, I keep mispronouncing it. Gandley and Nash? I believe it's uh, Gandley and Nash. Again, I apologise if I have uh, mispronounced your uh, names there. But I have seen this doing the rounds on Twitter, and I just love the design on it. It's their Morning Drop. And I believe that is the uh, Death's Head Hawk Moth on the uh, front of there. Hold, um, like Silence of the Lamb style. 6% Somersetshire, there you go. Never from Concentrate, always good to say. Love the simplistic designs on these ones, they're really, really cool, but I mean, look at that. What an awesome design. Right, next one, plain white label. Ah, it looks like it's another one from um, Pulped, actually. Yes, it certainly is. Okay, so this one is, uh, this one is called Verve. There we are. So that's 5.8%, uh, that one. What was the other one? 6.4%, uh, so that's, uh, this one's a little bit stronger than this one, but graphs are totally different. So there we go. Right, let's see what... Okay, is this going to be a third one? Yes, it is. There we go. We have three. Three from Pulped. 
Okay, and this one is their level. There we go, 5.4%. So um, I believe that's the, yeah, that's the weakest of the three, but that doesn't mean anything, does it, you know? Um, yeah, nice, awesome. There we go, so there's them. Right, now, are these gonna be small ones or are they just, or was it that? Oh no, we've got some big nose and beardy. I already recognize the labels, I already recognize the bottle tops. Question is, is it gonna be ones that I've already got from Big Nose and Beardy? That's the question. That is the question. Let's have a little look. No, it's another one that I've um, not, it's one that I've not received from them. We've got a bottle of their Oast Toast. Nice, so that's uh, a medium cider, 6.7%. And what is the final one gonna be? Let's have a little look. Aha, there we go. Uh, I've already got a bottle of this from them personally, but it's another bottle of a bit of oomph. Um, but from what I can gather, I think a bit of oomph changes every single year. So it will be interesting to see how, um, how, that, how that rates. Well, my goodness, James and Ed, Crafty Nectar, what can I say? I'm absolutely blown away by this. This is incredible. Um, I certainly, <laughs> well, uh, yeah, I'm lost for words. I am looking so much to trying all these um, ciders out. Um, however, I'm going to take this opportunity to just show you just how much cider I have got to review. So, come with me and we'll be showing you all these ciders. So, obviously, got all those. Got the, got the 12 ciders from Crafty Nectar there. But uh, yeah, just come with me and have a look. Have a look and see. This is what you've got to look forward to in the coming months. So we've got, there you go, got, um, got another uh, Big Nose and Beardy there. Got a couple of short bought ones, Curious Apple, Samuel Smith's Organic Perry. Got an Apple County there. That's a beer, we don't talk about that. Um, that is one of the ciders that Eric Bryan sent to me. But then you've got all these here. You've got, you've got Ash Ridge, you got um, yeah, the old tried and true Weston's Cloudy. You've got Cotswold Cider Company's um, Sweet Cheeks and Sideburns there. And the No Brainer, Ash Ridges, another Ash Ridge there. Co-op Zone, another Ash Ridge one. Another Cotswold there, you've got Sanford Orchards. you got um, here, yeah, you got a Taunton Cider there. Uh, what one was that one? Oh yeah, Kew Garden Cider. No idea what that one's gonna taste like, but there we go. Oh, but wait, there's more. There is more. Come with me. Yep, just uh, admire those again. Fantastic, fantastic, because let's go into the old drinks cabinet now. And uh, well, I mean, that's my fiance's drinks. So, you know, we won't say anything about that. But here we go, right, let's get all these beers out of the way. So you've got, you've got those two from Eric Bryan as well. You've got the latest ones from Line Down Cider to try out there. Another one from, um, uh, another one from Nempnet at the back there, Cornish Rattler, that's just for me to have. A couple more from Nempnet, I've got a French Breton Cidre there to try out, an alcohol free cider, I just nearly smashed that, whoops. Um, couple more from uh, Eric Bryan there as well. So yeah, a lot to look forward to in the coming months. So again, thank you so much guys at Crafty Nectar, James and Ed, I am looking forward to trying these out. Um, yeah, amazing. So until then, I'll be back with another delicious and tasty cider drinker review soon. But until then, I think I need to go and sit down. <laughs> um, yeah, take care guys. Till next time.